The not so humble mobile phone. Most of us use these for making some calls and taking a few pictures. Some of us go further and surf, email or tweet on them. But a select few do even more, like commanding a Dalek. LJ Rich takes us into the mystical world of handset hacking. There are those who use the apps. And there are those who make the apps. No! Why is it always me? Morning, I'm at Over the Air, an annual event where people stay overnight and do strange things with mobile phones, like control robots. Yes, all very clever, but I actually asked for a banana. So, Adam, this robot's your idea. <laughs> Tell me about it. This is a Lego robot I've made that I control from my mobile phone. And it runs around until it sees something, and then it shoots it and runs away. <laughs> Brilliant. Like real Daleks, then. But does this work with Bluetooth? Yes, the phone controls it over Bluetooth um, to start the programme, and then from then on it runs all, all by itself. Nothing is off limits here, from RFID readers on coffee cups... So I drink full shot, vanilla, non-fat, regular latte. ..to interactive battle games. And it seems that the Dalek wins on this occasion. And it's all in a day's work for these hardened software warriors. But for those of us who are still wondering what robot Daleks and phones have in common, let's ask a man behind the madness. Over there is a hack day based on mobile phones. So we get 400 developers in a room for 48 hours. The first few hours are about talks and inspiration and learning, and then a 24-hour period in the middle, straight through the night. So we were here at 4 o'clock this morning developing cool mobile apps right the way through to the afternoon today when everyone gets 90 seconds to present their idea and their hack. So what it does is it syncs all the wiki offline, stores it in SQL Lite. After the presentations, the overall winner will be announced, and um, there's fierce competition for the top spot. Some of the entries, like this group iPhone game, make it look easy to make an app in a day. Think Guitar Hero across mobiles. It actually works by me blowing into the microphone of the phone, which is measuring the volume of my blowing, and the volume is what's driving the, uh, the lighting up of the bottle to the same level that I'm blowing, like this. And the sound is doing the same thing, so when I blow really hard, I'll get a very bright pink outline and a very loud sound. Each a phone has the same song, but a different part in the song, and it's aware of what part it has, and those stripes you saw before um, uh, indicate which are your parts. And so the, all the phones are synchronised, so they're all sort of showing the same thing, except the, the white stripes are different. We're picking up some of the um, signals from them. We're turning that into songs. And if getting three phones to cooperate is just, well, too easy for you, then how about making your own Bluetooth orchestra? We hid these little phones around the four corners of the room and they've all got little receivers that pick up when people's mobile phones go nearby and they get the names of those phones and then we make those names into little tunes which we play um, through the speakers on the PA. And so we've got loads and loads of little tunes going on and as people move around the pitch of those tunes changes or the instrument that they're being played on changes. But beneath the sci-fi frolicking lies a more practical angle. Last year's winners uh, went on to develop their applications and, and release them, either as free apps or as paid apps. In fact, we worked with one set of developers to turn that into an application that we're using now. And that lofty goal is a worthwhile prize for any mobile developer to aspire to. Up, up and away!